Is your Chevy Silverado or GMC Sierra making this noise? It's probably your air door actuator. Let's check out how to replace this. This is a 93 Chevy Silverado and the noise is coming from the passenger side of the dash. And if you look under here, you can see this air door actuator is just tucked up in there. It's actually this unit right here. You can feel it on the flap right here that that unit is malfunctioning. So it's definitely this air door actuator. If you don't have time to replace the air door actuator, you can position the flap where you want it and disconnect the motor. It'll freeze it in place. I believe that is for the air recirculation on this truck. It's a Dorman part number 604103. Sits up in between the compartment just like this. So you have a fastener on the bottom, which is a seven millimeter, one on top, which I'm assuming is a seven millimeter. And that's gonna be the tough one to get to. And on my truck, this one is an alignment tab. So I'll try to break this first one loose with my ratchet. Yeah, this one's pretty easy to get to. So I'll back that one all the way out. And now we gotta figure out how to get the one up top. All right, now I just snuck my ratchet and you got to kind of do this one by feel, but there's a, a little cutout up top. Slid my ratchet over till I felt it go in this little cavity and then just pushed it in and started turning it. So I believe it's coming out. It is coming loose up there, but the ratchet stops loosening the fastener. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put pressure on that top fastener with this pry bar and hopefully I'll be able to spin it the rest of the way off. All right, that did the trick. And here's the motor with the fastener. So we'll go ahead and disconnect this. And I think what I'm gonna do is do a relief cut on the new one so this won't be fully closed. So that way we could start that fastener up there because now we have plenty of room to do that. And then we could put the ratchet on and tighten her down. There we go, just took out the uh, old grinder and made that cut right there. So now I'm gonna start that fastener. So now I just I hooked it up and I'm gonna clock the motor just by cycling on the key. So that should be where it needs to be. All right, so to get the top tab lined up, I actually took out the glove box, which it's just uh, take out these four bolts that hold in the actual glove box. You pop these pins out and then you could take off this vent cover, which is just two fasteners right here. It comes out and you could pull the door off, pull the glove box out and you have access to this. But you can't obviously you can't get your hand in there. So let's see if I can show you. So there's the top of the motor right there. So I basically had my hand under the dash, had my head up here, lined the motor up. And then once I had it hooked up there, I came back down here and then made sure it was on the piece that controls the door. So now it's sitting in place. I think it's, yeah. So now I just gotta tighten up the top fastener, put it in this bottom one and we're done. I don't hear any popping. Recirculation open and then closed. Perfect. That wasn't too bad. It was about a 30 minute job, but I think the key here is to have a quarter inch fine tooth ratchet to work in that tight space and to do that relief cut on the top tab. I hope this helps you with your air door actuator install. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video.